Welcome to Little Steps Baking Gains and the 30 Day Stability for Mobility Challenge. Welcome! It's day 19. You are making progress. You are amazing. You are fantastic. Oh my goodness, be so proud of yourself for the person that you are on the inside. Despite what other people are doing around you, you are stepping it up, stepping up your game, showing up to this challenge. Be so proud that you are here today on day 19. Sitting, balance exercise number one is a lateral reaching. We're gonna do this through airplane, sweep the table. While I explain, go ahead and do a chin tuck in and down. Not a pretty exercise, but a good one for us. Really, really good. All right, airplane, arms are up. You're reaching down to one side. When you reach to one side, you're actually using the opposite side. You can hold it and then come back up nice and slow. We'll do one side, the other side will alternate, make it more difficult by being on a balance ball, hold it at the bottom, find that right challenge for you. All right, then we'll jump in to sweep the table. To do that, you take one arm and you reach it as far as you can or feel comfortable to one side of the room. Sweep it around slow, it's gotta be slow. Then reach to the other side of the room and then bring it back to center. One side, both sides alternating, I'll walk you through it. All right, fantastic job with your 45 second chin tuck. We're gonna start with our airplane. So both arms are out, and what we'll do here is we'll do one side only. Okay, so slow, maybe you're gonna hold it, maybe not, and then slow. Remember your posture, don't hold your breath, keep your abdominals contracted, okay? Don't turn them off. But you do wanna keep that posture so you don't curl in, all right? Shoulder blades are back. Great way to strengthen those posture muscles at the same time. All right, now switch to the other side. Reaching down, maybe you're holding, maybe you're just coming up, whatever makes the best challenge for you personally. Maybe your eyes are closed, challenging your proprioception. Just be cautious, safety first, right? All right, we're gonna jump in to sweep the table now. All right, ooh, give those arms a break. One arm reaches all the way to the side, all the way around. Now cross, across, across, back to center at your own pace. As long as you go slow, keep those abdominals firing. Use those abdominals to pull you to the center, okay? So try to use those abdominals to anchor. Okay, and then when you reach, try to use those abdominals to pull yourself back to center. Try not to use your legs. Try instead to say, I'm gonna pull myself in with my abdominals. Stabilize. Stabilize, ready? Pull it in. All right, one more on this side. When you're done with this round, switch sides, okay? All the way to the side of the room, all the way around. Ready, back to center. Doing so good, one more. All right, very good. Let's go back to our airplane, alternating, okay? 
arms are out. Go down to one side. You can hold it, whatever you need to do. Use your abdominals to pull yourself up and then switch. Good, so you're trying not to collapse. In other words, you're trying not to just fall to the side, right? Use your abdominals to bring yourself back up. So you're lowering yourself, not just collapsing and falling to the side. One more on each side. All right, now we'll jump in to sweep that table, alternating, okay? Might sound confusing, but anyways, one hand, reach, sweep your table. Reach to the other side, back to center. Now switch hands, reach, sweep, reach, center. Switch hands, okay? At your own pace. Find that just right challenge. amazing job with our first sitting balance exercise. Sitting exercise number two is bending. Okay, while I explain, take those elbows, dig them back and down, tighten the abdominal, squeeze the shoulder blade back and down into the pockets. Okay, so bending, remember if you've just had a hip or a back surgery and the doctor says no bending, um, try to, well, not try, but go ahead, listen to your physician first. Do not do these exercises for the bending, just jump in for the upper body. Okay, so the first one we'll do is we'll be bending down and then we'll be opening our chest one arm, okay? Bending, opening the chest, the other arm, okay? Then we'll go ahead and jump into our robber. So bend and then robber or goalpost. Bend and goalpost, I'll walk you through it. Then we'll be bending across the leg. So you'll take one hand and you'll reach to the outside of the foot, come back and do a windmill. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be a good one. Outside, windmill, I'll walk you through it. We'll go back to the robber and then diagonals, I'll walk you through it. Okay, so fantastic job with your elbow dig. Here we are, we just start with our bending and unilateral chest expansion. So, bending down, and then take one arm and reach it back. Open up that chest on that side, come back. Bend and then alternate at your own pace, okay? Remember, when you slowly lower, use your back extensors to pull up, open up, keep those abdominals firing, close it up. Really use those abdominals when you open up. All right, we're gonna jump into our robber, bend, and say, I surrender, or stick your thumbs back into a goal post. Bend back and forth at your own pace, okay? Back extensors, posture. So good for us. you come up, try to use your back muscles, your butt muscles, try not to push through the legs. Pulling yourself up and back. You wanna add the butt, add the butt, okay? So what I mean by that is squeeze your butt muscles and pull yourself back. Alright. One more.
All right, now we're gonna reach across to the outside of a foot. That same arm comes back into a windmill. Woo. Okay, same arm. Back into a windmill. Keep those abdominals firing. Switch sides, the opposite foot, back into a windmill. Use your abdominals. We're gonna jump back into our robber and our forwards, okay? So down and then posture, okay, down. Use your butt muscles, your back to pull yourself back up. We need those back extensors for when we're standing, for balance, for walking. These exercises include the back, the extensors, not just the flexors, okay? We don't need to be doing sit-ups. We need to be doing postural exercise exercises. One more and then we'll jump into diagonals. All right, now reach across the body and then that arm that you did opens up into a big diagonal and then close it, switch. Open up to a big diagonal. Close, switch. Diagonal at your own pace, okay? These bending exercises are so good for us. We're almost finished. Fantastic job. Those were our sitting balance exercises for today. Standing balance exercise number one, stability through ice cream cones. While I review it, go ahead and give me that chin tuck. Down and back, double chin. Once again, so good for us. Okay, so here we are, ice cream cones. You know these, um, you can hold on, you can let go, eyes open, eyes closed. Back on the heels, not at the hips, okay? Heels and toes, side to side, circles, circles, reverse. I'll walk you through it, okay? Just remember, we're targeting the ankle strategies. We're not jumping into hips, okay? If you need to hold on or if you need to go smaller to do it correctly, do that. Maybe it's easy, close your eyes, feet together, balance pads, find that right challenge for you. Okay, so let's jump in. Here we are. We're gonna go ahead and go forwards and backwards. So you're either holding on or letting go, but the weight is on the heels and the toes at your own pace. When you're on the heels, keep your toes on the floor if you can. And when you're on the toes, keep your heels. In other words, try to keep your feet planted the whole time. Body is straight, like a board. Side to side, all the weight goes on one leg and then the other leg. Pay attention to what it feels like to put your weight through that foot. What 
does it feel like to let that foot sink down into the floor? All right, try your best to do a circle now in one direction only. So it'll be the weight is on the toes, left foot, heels, right foot. Eyes open, eyes closed, holding on, letting go. Find that challenge. Switch directions. All right, now I'm gonna randomly say reverse, okay? So go in one direction, and when I say reverse, reverse. All right, reverse already. Reverse. Reverse. Ooh, reverse. 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 Good, now I'm gonna add that stop and you're gonna hold it in that position. All right, so go ahead and start any direction. All right, stop, try to hold that position. Reverse. Stop, hold that position. All right, keep going in the same direction. Stop and hold. Reverse. Remember your body is straight, okay? Stop and hold. Reverse. Stop, hold. And reverse. Oh, fantastic job with our first standing balance exercise. Exercise number two, our single leg stance. So important for our balance. Remember when we walk 40% of the time, we're on one leg. All right, so here we are. While I explain, go ahead and do an elbow or a, yeah, elbow press. So take your hands on your chair, or if you don't have a chair, on your thighs. You're pressing them down while you're squeezing your scapulas down and back. We're not doing this, down. Tighten your abdominals. All right, hold that position for me. Okay, we're gonna do those single leg stands three to five seconds. Find the right challenge for you. We'll start with uh, feet or shoulder width apart. So shift, lift, holding it, okay? Then we'll be going into wide stands. Ooh, this is good for us because now you really have to shift and lift. 
Then we'll be going into a tandem or a semi-tandem, which is like on the tightrope, the shift and lift coming on back. I'll walk you through it, then we'll be holding it longer, shorter. If you need to make this easier, that's just fine. Start by holding on for safety. Maybe you're doing one hand, maybe you're doing a finger, maybe you're only holding it up for you know a few seconds at a time and building your way up. If you're really doing very well with this, good for you. You can go ahead and really focus on stability. You can close your eyes. That's going to be pretty difficult. All right, fantastic job. So let's go ahead, feet or shoulder width apart, three to five seconds at your own pace. What you're just doing is you're shifting and you're lifting at your own pace. Right, ready? Wide base, okay? Ooh, this is hard. So what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to shift and then lift three to five seconds. Wide base, shift and lift. You probably notice sometimes I creep in, that's just fine. All right, fantastic. So now we're gonna try our best to go into like that tight rope position. One foot is in front of the other. Take that back leg, lift it up. Try to get back into that tight rope position. Hold it and then up again, okay? Obviously we're only doing one leg. Can hold on, let go, close your eyes. Good switch, okay? So now the other foot is in back. Holding it up, coming back to the tightrope. Fantastic, almost there. You're like, these are difficult. They are difficult. So if you need to hold on, hold on. All right, now we're just gonna hold up one leg as long as you can, okay? So one leg is gonna be up, holding it as long as you can. Maybe you make it 15 seconds, drop it and try again.
All right, switch sides. This is not easy. We're doing 30 seconds on each leg. Oh, you are amazing. Great job with your standing static balance exercises. Dynamic standing balance exercise number one. We're going into lunges or stepping, multi-directional stepping. So where we are is we're going to go ahead and do that chin tuck while I explain these chin tucks are so good for us. Back and down. So good for us. Crazy how they actually, studies show it can also help with your balance just by chin tuck. All right, so here we are, multi-directional stepping or lunges. So maybe you're holding on, maybe you're letting go. One foot, we're just gonna be going heel toe and then back. All right, 45 seconds. We'll go to the side and back and then we'll go back, okay? If that's easy for you, let go and do your lunges, okay? So heel toe, lunge it out. You can hold it, whatever you need to do, and then power yourself back. You can find that right challenge for you personally. Okay, so here we are, we're starting with forwards. Holding on, letting go, one leg, steps forwards or lunges, and then comes back at your own pace. Make sure your heel strikes first. Fantastic to the side. and then back, okay? One foot goes back, maybe you're stepping, maybe you're lunging the back leg. Switching legs forwards. Maybe you're stepping, maybe you're lunging.
take to the side. I'm going to be kind of in an awkward position here. Remember, you can be holding on. Backwards, okay? Take that one leg, <clears throat> drop it back. Amazing, amazing job. It's our first dynamic standing balance exercise. Dynamic standing balance exercise number two and our last exercise for the day. My favorite, the rock and reach. While I explain, give me a posture exercise. Abdominals are nice and tight, contracted. A goal post or robber. Back and down, all right? Back and down, posture, abdominals, so good for us. All right, hold that position. Good old rack and reach. One leg, feet are hip width apart, steps. Opposite arm reaches while the back heel lifts. Come back, hip width apart. I'll walk you through it. Then we're gonna shift to a wide base. Whew, real wide, okay? One foot, same thing, the reach, but back to a wide base. We'll switch sides and then we'll go back to our normal rock and reach where we step back, not to the side. Okay, if you're using a chair, that's fantastic. Or a countertop, it's gonna be on the side of you though, right? Because you're gonna be going forwards with your chair on the side. I'm demonstrating without a chair, not a lot of room here. Make the modifications that fit you personally. All right, so here we are. Feet, hip width, shoulder width apart. One leg steps, the opposite arm reaches, and then lift the back heel. Come back, hip width apart. legs. So think about it. If your right leg step, now your left leg's going to step. Let its opposite arm. Okay. So just step, reach back heel lifts, come back to hip width or shoulder width apart.
Okay, now come back to a wide base. Shift, reach, back to a wide base. Okay, go back to the other leg. You're like, oh my gosh, so confusing. All right, step, other leg, opposite arm. Now, come all the way back, okay? Back behind, lift the front heel. Forwards reach, step back behind, posterior step, front heel. All right, you ready to switch sides? Okay, step that other leg, opposite arm. And then come all the way in back, a posterior step, lifting the front heel. So lifting the back heel, lifting the front toe. I messed that one up, I'm sorry. So step, lift, heel, step, lift, toe. Last one. Oh, amazing job today. That was our last exercise for the day. Congratulations, you did it. You finished day 19. That's amazing, absolutely amazing. If you're noticing some of the same exercises, they're there, but you make them more difficult. You grow, you challenge yourself. It's amazing and fantastic that you have not quit. You started this challenge, you're still here. Give yourself kudos, be proud of yourself. Silence any voices of shame of, of in your life, any voices of disappointment, because you know what? You're here. You haven't quit. And that is something to be so proud of. Oh, well, I do hope you come back. You can do this. Don't quit. Little steps together. We can make some big gains.